Hey guys, this is the Jackal with another bit of review. I am back from TFCon. And we got our first review going. This is the video review of the Transformers Masterpiece MP10 to uh, Toys R Us exclusive Optimus Prime. Yeah, I'm so excited because I never, you know, really had this figure all. Duh. But I saw him. Uh, during the con, I was like, yes, I don't know, I don't care how much I pay for them, yes. So, yes, I finally have myself MP10, but let's get started. Of course, let's take a look at the big old gigantic, uh, you know, packaging. Um, of course, Transformers, here's your Toys R Us exclusive sticker. There he is in his truck mode, the battle station, and he's got the Matrix. Trailer converts to battle station, and you can kind of see me. Hi. But, uh, yeah. On one side, he got nice artwork of Optimus. And you can kind of see a box. That's the next review. Yeah, so there is that, of course. Autobot logo. Trailer converts to battle station. He's got Autobot ruler. Oh, Matrix leadership right in his chest, and he's got the Energon Axe, and on the other side, you got the same artwork, and there's his tech specs, so, but yeah, and finally, uh, if you can, I'm going to back this up a bit because this is a huge box, there's his bio, I'll focus in for you guys. Uh, there you go. So, I know I got glare, but that's all plastic, so. But, yeah. Then you got Prime with his axe. There's a nice list. Trailer converts to Battle Station, Autobot Roller included. Matrix of Leadership and Chess, Snap on Energy, Energon Axe. You got Spike Wick Wiki. So, and the Ion Cannon Storage. So, and you can have. Spike sit in the cab. Of course, semi truck mode. You got the little repair bay, and you got the matrix. Not much else on the bottom, so let's get that out of the way. And without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get Mr. MP10 into his truck mode and see how cool he actually is. And here we have the awesomeness that is also called MP10 Optimus Prime in his truck mode. Really love this. Um, first we'll take a look at the truck, then we'll go to the trailer. So, let's get started. But, uh, very quick. Let's just get the stands out. There you go. And, here we have the cab so really nice of course the traditional red some silver and blue um, got some nice chrome on the gas tanks on both sides um, also got some nice silvers going through the stripes the uh, review mirrors the um, outline of the windows the windshield wipers uh, nice chrome on the again gas tanks the bumper, lights, grill, and smokestacks. Got nice little yellow painted lights. Uh, you got the translucent blue, all light, like dark blue. Um, windows. Yeah, um, chrome wheels with rubber tires. Gotta love that. Um, of course, you can see his waist, so you got the yellow in there. You got nice blue. You even got some detailing for the hitch. So, there's the gray, which is also the lights. There's the bottom of the truck. Yeah, I kind of recommend if you're kind of making sure everything's tabbed in. Yeah, this hold the back. But, uh, got the fake grill and got the matrix. So, I did try keeping the black piece of the matrix covered down, but the ab pieces, I wouldn't really want to, uh, yeah, go over that, so... But yeah, very nice truck mode. So, 
And the only comparison I'm really going to do in this review will be in truck mode. So, here he is with the Age of Extinction Leader Prime. So, so yeah, there's those two. So, but now let's take a look at the trailer. So, but uh, yeah, you got some nice details that were also present on the G1. Um, stuff. Of course you got the nice um, blue and white stripe. Really nice Autobot logo right there. Of course you got the rivets and panel lines that you would see on a traditional semi-tractor trailer. So you even got some rivets up top. So you got nice little wind vane right there. So still got rubber tires with the chrome rims. So got these stands which also once you bring out to do the base mode um, the bottom piece does extend so of course you got the nice little stands come to the back of course you got the nice silver painted bumper you got the translucent red lights so there's the back you got the nice latches so and the bottom you could like amazing amount of detail you get the spare tire Got the axles, rivets, panel lines. Of course, you got the guards for the little um, supports. But uh, yeah, of course, you got the hitch right there. But yeah. And of course, the main gimmick is that the trailer can open. Also got some nice details on the sides too, but uh, of course on the ramp you can pull that down, and you can take a guess at who's in uh, in there. Don't really have anybody else, so that kind of leads you to oh you know roller. So possibly one of my favorites of the entire figure. So got nice details in there. Got like little X's for the gas tanks. Um, yeah, it's got a nice little siren, but yeah, flip this down, um, with the little flap, now you have another gas tank, and the little squarish section, section um, you could put Optimus' gun in, you do that a little bit when you actually open the trailer, and once you bring the back out like that again, bring this up, you can actually tow well, Roller can actually tow um, Optimus' trailer with the hitch that I just showed you. So, yeah, so very nice. I don't really do the Roller towing the trailer all that much because he does get a little back heavy. But, yeah. So I just usually like to leave Roller in the trailer. But uh, Spike Wick Wiki does sit in here. Uh, doesn't really go in the back seat all that well, but he does go in the front but yeah so there is roller oh and he does have nice little yellow lights but yeah so without further ado let's get this thing open I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit so I can get a little closer so I just usually like to start at the little intake and there we go and you can already see his gun fall out it does that but uh, yeah, here's his gun. You got the nice silver, some other nice little details going through him. Now, he does have that because it does fold up. Uh, come on. There you go. Nope. Nope. There we, uh, I'm pushing something. There we go. So he does fold up like that so he can go on Optimus' back. Uh, this little piece right here that's what you see but we'll get to that when we're in Optimus's robot mode so you just do that and what's always talking about with roller take that and there you go there's roller with Optimus's gun so now he can join the battle take that and then you could put roller on the side and to store the gun, 
I forgot the little supports. Yeah, you gotta love it when you forget stuff. But, yeah. But there's that little square indent right there. You can do that, of course. So it does go there. But we'll just take it out for now. Of course, you got the axe. Which is translucent orange. Which is really nice. You got the nice little uh, energy... I don't know what to call it. Waves, I guess. But, uh, get some more detailing down in here. But yeah. It does have six spikes. I thought there were eight, but I looked at pictures and luckily there were six. So I was like, yes, I'm saved. I don't have to worry about that. But yeah. There's where his fist goes in. Unlike the MP01, the MP01 just, you have to tuck away his hand and it goes right where his hand went. But, uh, yeah. Of course you can see the little, yeah, in that where that goes but there's the X now the little command module is really freaking cool uh, now he does have the little holes to where on the original G1 you can put the uh, missiles I'm not sure if he'll do it here uh, if somebody could like help me like get the two little missiles I could try it but uh, yeah and this thing is packed with articulation. You got the swivel on the neck here. You got the double hinged right there. You got the swivel right there. Turns. You can take the little antenna, turn it on its head. On the little arm, um, can bring it up like that. Of course, you could turn it, swivel it up. You got the double right there on the little pincher itself. It can rotate there and open it up, and there you go. So, I just, of course, for storage, you got to leave it like that. So, but open, like, kind of get that out of the way. If you open that, there is Spike Wick Wiggy. So, but uh, yeah, this guy is cool. So he's got the nice little yellow boots, blue jeans, you can see the belt, you got the tan shirt, you got his skin, you got his hair. But yeah, pretty cool. But uh, articulation that he has, you can bring up his arms, touch down. So, um, got hip, there, you got knee. Here, and that's basically it. But uh, yeah, still pretty cool. But um, yeah, I just usually like to leave them in the command module so it can help out prime a roller. But he just basically such like that in here. But uh, yeah, so there's roller, and you can kind of see him through the yeah command module because it is. Dark tinted, but you can still see it. And the command module itself and the rest of the trailer has an amazing amount of detail. So, but uh, yeah, you can also sit Spike right there, right there. Of course, an Optimus. So, more look at the detail. Just amazing at what they did. So, I want to give like the designer who designed this thing like a big hug and a high five and maybe five bucks and a free lunch because he just deserved it because he did an outstanding job so but yeah and one little gimmick that you can do with the uh, command module if you take these flaps and just push them in that kind of bring up one side a little bit so you can get it through Can do that. Now you can have them poke through and kind of, kind of work on Optimus. Yeah, Optimus is yeah, you know, like right there. So, so yeah, the little command module can poke through the trailer, which is kind of cool. I like this. This was when I saw it do this, it kind of made me laugh. 
So, but uh, yeah. So without further ado, let's get this look guy back in. And get one final shot of the trailer with Optimus for a while. But yeah, you can also put Prime right there. You take Roller if he's tired. You can just put him right there. Of course, you got the weapon storage gun over here and the axe back here. So without further ado, let's get on to the lengthy transformation of Optimus Prime Masterpiece. Okay, let's have some fun transforming MP10, shall we? Let's. So, first up, what I usually like to do, I come to the lights. And there you go. Pop those out. Like that. Pop the side of the bumper. that. Take the sides down. Open the windows. Oh yeah, I want to fold in the little review mirrors. But uh, yeah, bring out the windows. Bring up the head. Amazing head mold. I love that. So, but uh, come to the back. Kind of unpeg the gas tanks and actually you don't have to push those in uh, only when you go like from robot to truck you have to push these in because it yeah, collapses but uh so you just want to it doesn't sound good but anyways i fixed it Bring that up like that. There you got. Well, his legs aren't done yet, but uh, bring out the flap like that, so it covers the tires. You could bring the gas tanks like so. Oh, like that. Take the front covers of the legs like that. Now you have his little iconic, I guess, uh, vents on the shin. Open the foot, which I love, really like how the foot's designed. But yeah, so come on the other side, bring that around to cover the tires, bring down the gas tank. So, bring around the front of the Shin cover and open up the feet. There you go, now you got his feet and his legs done. Now the fun part the arms and the upper body. So bring out the arms like the iconic arm transformation does. Bring in that little piece and it'll just sit flush. Bring around oh, again on the left arm. Bring these out. Bring them up. Bring that little piece up against the arm like that. And we'll work on the arms in a little bit. Take the grill piece. I'll unpeg because I forgot where it pegged in. But uh, yeah, so bring this in. Of course, there's a matrix again, so I just bring down the matrix cover like that. Then just make sure that the um oh yeah on the uh, smokestacks they kind of do extend because in truck mode you had the little angled, but um, you push it, like you pull these up and it should be uh um. Yeah, pulled up but uh, yeah so on the wheel pieces bring this around 180 degrees like that you kind of want to angle it down just enough to where you can get around the arms bring that up like that come to the side 
just want to make sure that everything folds in. The little light should just snap on in. Bring that around. Again, snap on in. Bring down that piece. Swivel around. Kind of, yeah, take that one piece all away from the fake grill. Bring this down. We're almost done. And there's a little pig on the matrix holder. Should pig into the fake grill. Like so. Close the windows. Like that. And bear with me, this is my first masterpiece review since, you know, Thundercracker. So, but, uh, yeah. Bring down the arms. I kind of like, like, because uh, you can extend out the arms however way you like. I kind of like to do it halfway to, so you can have that, the half circle. Like so. Extend the arms down like that. Bring, there's a little flap forearm. Bring that down. Bring out the hand. You want to make sure that you got your little gold arrow on the forearm. Bring that around. And there you have the Hasbro Toys R Us exclusive MP10 Optimus in his uh, robot mode. And one thing I should add, you can angle the, I thought like the entire antenna piece line, oh, excuse me, uh, one entire piece so when you turn one, the other one will turn with it, but I guess not. So, but yeah, amazing looking robot mode. I just love this. Now I did have the original MP01, unfortunately somebody stole it. Yeah, they were that desperate because they were jealous of me and so. But I just love this one a lot better. So, but yeah, I'll kind of take a shot. Kind of like my mouse. There you go, buddy. You got your shout out. You can take me later. There you go. So, and we'll get a quick head shot. Because I really love this head mold. Just amazing. Got the amazing babies, like the sky blue eyes. I know I can't see it, but it's just amazing. But uh, yeah, there's only one complaint I really have is this that there's like no nub to really get that piece, you know, caught so it doesn't, yeah, flop around. But still an amazing figure. I love this. So there is the robot mode and articulation. Then we'll get into the gimmicks after this, but uh, you got 360 head, can swivel up and down. Of course, you got the weird neck thing. So, but uh, you can swivel back and forth like that. Of course, you can go in and out like so. Swivel 360. 360 swivel right there. Elbow. You got wrist. Oh, almost fell. But, uh, he got the three outer fingers are molded in together. Um, yeah, they only move at the main knuckle like that. Then you get the main index finger that can come out. And um, yeah, basically just does that. But uh, yeah, of course, same for the other arm. You got nice waist, um, you got nice clicky, hips, swivel there, you got nice clicky knees, you can even go back like that like you're breaking this, you know, leg, swivel right there, you got amazing feet, 
Uh, if you bring it out all the way like this, it can get a lot more. But I just usually like to leave them like that. And of course, front and back. So, amazing articulation. Uh, gimmicks. Of course, I'll start off with the matrix of leadership. Uh, of course, you got the two covers. It's kind of a weird way to get it out, or get it open, I should say. But once you get it, then it's kind of easy. But yeah, there's the matrix. Really nice. Now, basically, for me to get it, you kind of have to push on each end. Like that. I apologize about that little break there, ladies and gentlemen. I had some uh, phone troubles and space troubles. But anyways, as we're talking about the Matrix, uh, here it is. Now on one side, it does have a little wider open end. Uh, let me see if I can focus. I forgot to do that. But uh, yeah, so you got the wider end, then you turn it around. So you got a little closer end, so it kind of looks like it's you know opening up a little bit. So it's kind of nice. So he's got... It is translucent, really nice. I love that part. But uh, I gotta say, well, here's a little another comparison. Kinda, this matrix is nice, but I kind of wish it was painted like this. But I kind of like this bigger matrix. They're both made out of die cast, but I still like this one a lot more. So yes, yeah, so there's the matrix. So and of course, you just fit it into the chest, which is also. Uh, Again, not really, um, yeah, lightened up, but I'm trying to do my best, but you, yeah, you can do that, so. Of course, close it. But yeah, so yeah, there's that. For the gun, of course you can go any in any hand, but I'm going to do it for the left for reasons, but... Do the little tabs on the side, it will fit into the hole in his palm. So bring that and bring his index finger. And so now it kind of looks like he has a trigger finger. But yeah. Of course, I got the axe. And it should just tightly tightly squeeze into onto his fist which is really nice so yeah there he is all weaponized up so yeah so there is mp10 and there he is with his little repair base so really cool again really love the details the only gripe about the figure is that neck plate i'll see what i can do um so but uh yeah, so there's one last shot of MP10, and let's get Roller in there too. So, this one last shot, and we'll conclude the review. So again, there is MP10 with his repair bay. And one last thing I did forget, uh, the little gun gimmick that stores into his back. Of course, fold it up. that bring down the little back piece and with that little edge I want to make sure I yeah this thing you tap it like with a hair and it'll just scare the crap out of you but yeah just put it in like that now you got weapon storage for the gun it does stick out but still pretty cool so there is the last minute gun gimmick for weapon storage on mp10 so this has been the video review of the Transformers Masterpiece Toys R Us exclusive MP10 Optimus Prime. Again, very, very great figure. The only gripe, again, was the neck plate. So, but again, guys, this has been the Jekyll. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Stay tuned for more reviews, hauls, vlogs, unboxings, all that good stuff. Um, you can get this guy in BigBadToyStore.com. They do have the reissue coming out for our 160 with the Vector Sigma, a little key, and the little uh, orb that it came with, so.
But uh, go follow me on Facebook at Jacko's Reviews, Twitter at Jacko24884, and of course Big Bad Toy Store. Again, guys, this has been the Jackal with, of course, MP10 Optimus Prime, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.